So I made this video yesterday about this ISIS bribe being let back into the country and people were outraged. It got reported within 20 minutes, video was done. People thought I was a member of ISIS. I wanna make it very clear here on social media and a lot of people hear buzzwords, but I am not a member of IS, ISIS, CNA, MFI, NWA, anything with letters in, I ain't a member of. I'm gonna try and play that video within this video to tell you what I was trying to say in that video so people understand and this video, these dumb dummies. Here's what I said. Huge media outcry because this Begum wants to come back to England after living for four years with ISIS. And people are outraged. No, mate, don't let her back in the country. I ain't having it, mate. Chuck her in the bin, throw it in the ocean, chuck it in the wheelie bin, incinerate the slag. She's had a baby. Throw the baby in the bin and all. I ain't having those wankers back in my country, mate. Firstly, it's not even our decision. She's protected by international law and that law needs to be changed like those other 500 members of ISIS that come back to this country. And that's the problem here. It's not even our decision. ISIS members that have been allowed back in the UK probably gave me a lift in an Uber yesterday. If he's watching this, he's probably gonna give me zero stars and my rating's gonna go down to two. I saw your video, one star. She was just a housewife. A housewife? You ain't a housewife when you're living with terrorists. Your husband was coming home from a hard day at the office. They had a nice day on the front line. It was very bad. I lost her leg. Where's the dinner? Is it on the table? On Sky News, she said the British authorities have nothing on her. And we got something on you, you dumb dummy. Joining ISIS. This ain't some jihadi deal or no deal. What box do you want? I want box number two. Boom, dead. Everyone's saying this is like, I'm a jihadi, get me out of here. What kind of game show would that be? An in debt coming down. We've got a challenge for you now, Mia. We're gonna put you in a plastic box and we're gonna sprinkle you with a bit of bacon. No, no bacon. This is real torture. I will speak. I will give you names. I also said, but she was groomed when she was 15, underage by ISIS, apparently, 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 apparently. So the problem is, People don't like it if you're groomed by a terrorist organization. If she was groomed by a pedo, they'd have cakes, balloons, there'd be a homecoming party. Oh, are you all right? What did R. Kelly do to you? Come home. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. But if you're groomed by a terrorist, chuck it in the bed, my throw in the ocean. Because we don't feel sorry for people that were groomed by ISIS. When pedophiles abuse children, children can grow up to be pedophiles as well. It's a never ending circle. She was 15. She wasn't no five to 10 year old where you think maybe they were brainwashed. She knew what she was getting herself involved with. Doesn't come across as a victim. If she has to come back to this country, we need to question her, get some names and find the other people that are in this country and that are members of ISIS. Talk to her parents, talk to her dad who took her on ISIS rallies Allegedly. I want to make it clear, I am not a member of IS. Hope I've made that very clear. I'll turn this off. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, one-way ticket. Yeah, Syria.